I do have faith in America. I have faith in the American idea. I have faith in the American people. I, I believe in America. <laughs> And the crazy thing is that um, there are plenty of people who are throwing the baby out with the bathwater. For instance, you're talking about defacing and destroying not just statues of Confederates, but of George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Abraham Lincoln statues Lincoln, are being Lincoln destroyed, Memorial. right? Abraham Lincoln, the, the man who freed the black slaves, he's being destroyed. I've even seen uh, videos of black U.S. soldiers killed in various wars. Those have also been destroyed as, as part of this. There's this whole throwing the baby out with the bathwater. Yes, what you're saying is true, there's all the bad things, but no, I'm just supporting the good things. Yes, I want racial equality, and no, I'm not for defunding the police, but I want racial equality and I'm gonna stand they don't with the want black racial, community. But that's the point, is that they don't want racial equality. They're not talking about American society as a society of equals. They're talking about black supremacists, and that's what we're seeing, black supremacism. When you're seeing white people literally licking the boots of black people, standing on line to do so, saying that America is racist, led by black people. That's racial supremacism. That's not racial equality. I mean, America is about expanding equality, expanding opportunity. It's not about racial supremacy. It was a slave country, you know? That's what they want it to be again, but they want to humiliate and subjugate white Americans. This is an openly racist, movement and again it's that pecking order of which the people are the most victimized and they're the ones who get to be on top and everybody else has to obey and shut up and so i find it exhausting i find it terrifying and but i also find it so unattractive why would anybody want to be a part of this granted okay young people who don't know anything who have been indoctrinated so they'll want to be a part of it but are there really enough of them? Is that really the majority in America? Are they going to walk into the polling booths with their parents and make sure that they vote uh, for Biden and for uh, the radical slate of Democratic candidates in, in November? Maybe, but if that's the case, then we should all be rending our garments and sitting on the floor and, and mourning the destruction of the United States. But I do have faith in America. I have faith in the American idea. I have faith in the American people. I, I believe in America. I think that they're not going to do that. As worried as I am when you go down to brass tacks, America isn't a mob. And they have periods of hysteria and mob hysteria that have sort of gone the length and span of American history. You know, starting really with the Salem witch trials and going forward. What's happening today is so antithetical to everything in the DNA of the American people that unless they have, in a massive way, had this new DNA, this Maoist, communist, Islamist DNA grafted onto them, and I don't think that it's reached that level, which again makes me wonder, they have this hand, they're playing it, I think maybe they're in their bubble. I think mm -hmm. that maybe they are misreading society because they've been occupying this radical, communist, Islamist bubble for two decades now, and become increasingly insulated from objective reality and to the point where today they've convinced themselves in their echo chambers, in the New York Times editorial offices, that this is the right thing, that this is where America is today. But I think they've lost all contact with the world outside their bubble. But I still believe that the world outside their bubble, the United States of America, is bigger than they are and thinks that they're crazy and destructive and terrifying that's what I'm hoping, that's what I think, that's what I, I believe, and I pray that I'm right. Well, after this very serious conversation of very, very troubling issues, I can't think of a better note to end on, that note of optimism, of uh, holding on to the belief that the American idea and most Americans are not gonna be caught up in this mob and, and save America. Look, I think that you know the main message is what Bo Obama said, vote. If you want the mob in, vote for Biden because he's the mob. You know, he's embracing the mob at the most fundamental level. It's the people in his party that are calling for defunding the police. You know, one of the people who called for defunding the police was the spokesman for the Obama Justice Department. Your decision is clear. You know, if you want the mob rules, then vote for Biden. 
if you don't want the mob rule, then vote for Trump. I mean, there's no, there's no other lesson to take from this. And I think that the more crazy they become, the more destructive that they become, the clearer this is going to be. And then the question is whether people are going to be voting on the basis of their fears or not. And frankly, I think that if you're voting on the basis of your fears, you still vote for Trump. And you tell everybody you voted for Biden. Pulse of Israel on frontline videos from the Holy Land. Support our work by donating today.